This is the first way to find them. You can uh, go to a uh, video game hunting tree. Uh, it has many different names in many different countries. The Spanish call it El Video Game Libre. And the English call it the video game hunting tree. So you can often find just the uh, fruits of the tree often fall down. But by the time they hit the ground, it's often a title you don't really want. So you can also see them kind of sprouting out and you know if you lead them let them grow long enough they'll become a good title or if you just want something quick you can pick them off like that and just have them as they is however I always find that the best fruit is up near the top of the tree so I'm gonna to have to get on here and we'll get it Some of them go moldy before you can ever get to them, so it's unfortunate. Just have to wait till next week before I make a bid. Now, not all video games grow from trees. Sometimes, after they've grown from a tree, they'll want to escape underground. So, once they fall down, they will attempt to burrow their way into the ground until they can ferment and grow into a new tree, similar to many other kinds of species. Now, thankfully they don't stay too far on the ground, only about 20 centimeters or so. And similar to water, if you have a divining rod, you can find them very easily. And in this case, the divining rod is actually the controller for the type of thing you want to find. So I'm looking for Sega games, so I need to use a Sega controller. So let's see if we can find any around here. The diviner was at its highest strength around this area, so we will have a shovel and see what we can find. I'm very excited. Oh, oh, we found it. There we go. A good find, and almost in mint condition. Alright, now for our third and final way of finding video games, it's something a little less common, and unfortunately, you're going to need a pair of goggles. So we're going scuba diving for games. See you guys down at the depths. There we go. Easy.